Hey everyone, Kelly here. Thought I would give us a quick recap of week one from Recruit Like a Rockstar, and then I will also give us a few things to think about for week two. I'm not going to do the entire um, uh, video that Perry is doing. He's doing such a great job, so I'm just going to do a recap of the main points and just to give you guys a couple things to think about, okay? So if um, you're new to this group and you're not really even sure what I'm saying in terms of Recruit Like a Rockstar, maybe you're seeing this on YouTube and you're on our team or another team or whatever, um, the idea is this. This group is about how you can become a solid coach through um, creating a community uh, vibe on your team and of course within your own business of recruiting, okay? Sort of an ex um, how you do that um, and then how you can also, you know, as you build, you can help your coaches do the same thing. Okay, so really quickly, what uh, was last week's training? Well, we'd said that um, really what you need to do daily um, and very consistently, if you fall off one day, you just do it the next day. Okay, what you do is you create um, a pattern of posting three times a day about your personal life. And really you need to just, I think, focus in on um, three things that you're going to consistently talk about. So for me, um, you guys know that I like to travel. I'm living currently um, the winter time in Palm Springs. So you're going to see me um, a lot of times if you go over to my wall right now. You'll see that I do posts about, you know, a picture from where I am with a quote, a verse, a thought. Um, I don't do memes. I almost never, ever, ever do memes because people can, those are just a dime a dozen now. People do those and scroll, scroll, scroll. It doesn't really do much for you, I don't think. So um, I might have a, you know, I might be creating my own meme in a sense, but it's my own original photo. It's a photo of me or the environment where I'm traveling or living, okay? So that's that. Um, you also know probably that I have a dog, Henry, who's a puggle. And so everybody loves Henry. And so he's uh, my little sidekick and he does, he's my faithful buddy. So I post about him. And I also post about um, f fitness and, and food as a part of my brand, but also to my life because I've really had, um, well, first of all, I'm the traveling fit foodie. So I do a lot of posts about how to stay fit when you're traveling and eating out and on the road and all that kind of thing. And I also have a certain nutrition, kind of nutrition plan that's been really working for me. So you're going to see me posting a lot more about that and um, promoting groups and stuff like that with that meal plan. Okay. So those are the three things. Now within, those are the three lifestyles things. Now I also, um, we are also doing for a part of the group, um, is to say that you really should be following a consistent pattern of posting with hashtags so people can search and find you um, certain some things for your business. Okay, so it's not necessarily every single day. You could do some. You could have theme days every day for your business. Um, and in addition to the three posts that you're doing that are in your personal interests. So Sunday, of course, is the coach opportunity. Monday could be motivation Monday. Tuesday's transformation Tuesday. Uh, you could do something about a recipe or what way to go Wednesday and do something for your team. That would be good if you had coaches or somebody, a challenger who's rocking it and you can um, praise them a little bit. Thursday, thankful Thursday, flex Friday. Does that make sense? So you can make your up, up your own, but those to have a consistent pattern of that. Trust me, people will start to look for that. They will label they, and they will be, man, you're so inspiring. And I'll tell you this too. They, you'll be so much more inspiring to do those kind of posts than to do a meme that is just a picture of, you know, somebody's picture of the Alps with a verse or something. I, there's nothing wrong with that, you guys, but people scroll by that stuff now. And it's just sort of a dime a dozen. So you're looking to be unique. You're looking to gather a following of people around you who say, hey, she gets it. He gets it. This is a person I can trust, their content, that I can account on it you know, as I'm scrolling and there's a, there's a quality to it and there's some themes to it. So you're not going to all of a sudden go off for three weeks about politics really hard to do, right? With this environment, we all have strong opinions or something where it's like, what, you know, you're going to stay consistent within your own brand. Okay. So that's all that you're doing when you do those consistent posts, by the way, and you're choosing sort of focus in on things is you're creating a brand. Doesn't have to be super, um, thought out in terms of marketing terms, but let me tell you, that is what you're doing. Okay. So people can trust your brand and you'll gather people around you. All right. So those are the three things, the three posts, and then the four with the themes. Okay. How it relates to this week is this. I just mentioned how I never do those stock photos anymore that are those memes and things. And that is one of the things is that people are looking for inspiration, but they're really jaded now and sort of tired of all the, this, you know, social media so pervades our lives that even you just see the same old memes over and over, unless you can put a twist on it for your own brand, don't do that. I mean, I would say not to, okay? Um, people are looking for inspiration, but 
what really changes lives and what really will get you to create a, a recruiting culture on your team and within your own business and start to really pop and get you momentum is that, so not just inspiration, which is sort of like a feeling we all have and then we scroll on, right? Or a feeling we have for a moment or a weekend or whatever, and then it's gone, right? But really what you wanna do is to truly inspire people and then to, um, to get them to act on it is to have implementation, okay? So you're gonna have a plan that you're doing, and there, we have some different tools this week that Perry's talking about of the, the plan of how to implement your, um, your, your plan, okay? So you need to have a, you wanna inspire people, so then you need to have um, implementation. You guys, the 12-week year, which also is a part of this group, that's a, that's a whole sort of scheme of, um, of a, a book and also a way to execute your business is all about implementation. You've got to have a plan for that or really you'll just sort of be this person who's like, oh, that was neat, okay, mm, you know, and people scroll on. There's a lot of us on this team, to be honest, who have a lot of the inspiration going down, but the implementation doesn't happen because you're not inviting, okay? You have to invite people to something. You have a plan and then you've got to invite them to, to do something. To be inspired is to have a thought, a, um, a quote, a picture, but okay, then there needs to be an action plan for implementation of that plan, all right? And um, to do that, you need to have the right information. So we are not, we are definitely inviting, inviting, inviting people to things, okay? You're, now you're not going to be this cheesy spammer because we, we talked about, right, you're doing those three posts about your life. And you're doing the how the coaching has changed your life, inviting them to coaching, um, these hashtag days for themes, okay? So you're doing that. You're earning their trust already. But you've got to invite and implement the plan of action, which is to say, hey, we've got the February groups coming up. We're all getting organized for that. We've got, um, we've got cover art for that that you can um, invite them to, okay? So... That is really, really important because the fact is um, you're never, you need to give them the right information to act on um, and not just to feel inspired with this, just an emotion, all right? So please, please, please don't get this out of order and don't think that you can just try to inspire people for a year doing these meme photos and that somehow you're never going to build your business. I'm going to tell you the right, that right into the camera today. You're not going to build a business that way. People might think you're fantastic. They might think, oh, wonderful for you. But you want to show them with information how they can act on it and they can become like you, okay? They can have the results that you do. They can, they can be inspiring like you are, truly inspiring to act, okay? So that is what this week is about, you guys. So let's do that. Um, uh, tag me in those, po those posts that you're doing, okay? Tag me on any of your stuff. I will totally go over there and love on that post and be a normal person, not be weird, okay? I will love that, like it. I will say something positive about it, okay? So please, please, please always know that you can tag Perry, me, anybody in this group. Let's tag each other, okay? So to help you to continue to not only inspire people to have a feeling, but have a, a plan of implementation with the right information for them to act on so that they can become a part of our community too. Thank you so much, guys. This is a little longer than I wanted, but it's hard for me to stop when I get going because this is great stuff and this is how you create a recruiting culture on your personal coaching team and within the broader um, team, Team Power Blast and all, and Team Beachbody. Okay, so it's really, it's really good stuff. All right, thanks guys, bye.